Hey everyone, Matt from Stronger You here. So today I'm going to go through a reverse pin squat or a squat, squat isometric. So um, the goal with these is we're looking to strengthen positions. So if we see that uh, through the, the squat somewhere, there's a, a movement fault, like somebody rounds over, for example, or their hips go out of position or a knee moves in or out, um, or they come off their heels, whatever it may be that we're trying to correct. These isometrics are really, really useful at teaching positions that are going to be most stable because the, you can push harder against the pins and create more force in a position that's more stable. So it helps you find that sweet spot for yourself. Um, with the pin squat specifically, we can go through this with a low bar squat, high bar squat, front squat, a safety bar squat, I guess as well. Any kind of squat will work as long as it's with a barbell implement. So uh, the goal with these is let's say our lifter in question has having problems with the descent of their squat where they're coming down and right as they're passing 90 degrees at the hips or so, they'll tend to buckle and, and round over. So they'll end, their squat ends up looking like this and they'll fall in like that, for example. Um, we can use this pin squat and set the pins to just before they'd make that fault um, and help them find tension in that position. So you don't need a lot of weight. You could do this with 95 pounds, you could do this with an empty bar because ultimately you're going to be pushing against the rack, which realistically you're not going to move. So uh, I'll go with a high bar squat in this just for example's sake here. And I'll show you the pins. So you're going to walk it out, set yourself under the pins, and then push up as hard as you can while maintaining good pressure uh, and good spinal position. So go ahead. And then I'm just pushing. Pretty normal to get some shaking in these. You'll find you've got to play with your positions a little bit to really find that sweet spot where you feel like you can push as hard as possible um, against the pins. But playing with those details is what's going to help you find the best and most powerful position for your squat so that when you're going through, you can check through that position on your way down or on your way up to maintain good pressure, good stability, and really a more optimal position for force development. Thanks. See you next time.